Welcome to Trapper Down CT Outdoor Show. As you can see, I got this overflow set with this 330. Uh, we got the mink there yesterday. We have to readjust that with the water going down. But anyway, we'll worry about that when we're done here. This 330's been popped off twice. I got a feeling he's on to me. So, we're gonna throw Mr. Beaver a curveball. And take this 330 and put it over there behind you if you would there, sir. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw Mr. Beaver a curveball. I got CT Trapper Man with me today, Al Jones. He's uh he's also on YouTube. Go check out his page. Very uh ingenious trapper. Showing him some water sets and stuff. How many coyotes you get this year, Al? 17. Okay, he knows what he's doing with the coyotes. <laughs> All right, folks. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna throw him a curveball, make a drowning set. What I got here, is I got a brake drum. As you can see, I should put two. But the beaver, the, behind the dam where I'm gonna throw this is kinda soft, so it'll sink in nice. And I should have a cable drowner, but I don't really use them that much, so what we'll do is we'll take this out. Yeah, if you want to unravel a whole bunch for me, but I'll kink in it. Try not to kink it. As you can see, it's about six, eight feet deep there, and it gets deeper out in the middle. Probably more than that. I'm gonna chuck it pretty far. So we got, like I said, a brake drum here. Keep going. I don't want to pull it out of your hands. You can always re-roll it back up. Yep. Okay? Yep, good. Let her sink. Give it a second. Get into the mud. What you want to do is give it a little tug. Get it in that mud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Take my cutters. How much we got, Al? Always, you can always cut off extra and wrap it around the stake. If you cut it too short, you don't wanna do that. Now, I didn't bring any stakes with me, but the beaver cuttings should be all right. You can find a nice long one. I mean, this one might be a little too short, but you see how that's good there? The hook. It might be a little short. So I put that in, that's going to hold. That'll hold pretty good. That one's wired to the trap. Because once that beaver gets caught, he's going to dive back down to the water anyway. Once he gets caught, he's going to dive down into the water anyway. So what I'm going to do is I got a Sleepy Creek, number four, two coiled. I got these at Olsen's Trappers weekend. I bought six of them. And it's the first time I'm using them. Uh, I heard they're a great trap. Without mentioning any names, I, I was told they're too small. You know, good for a front catch. No good for a back foot, you know, because you got to have two other traps that are made or just you're wasting your time, which I don't think is true because as a matter of fact, a gentleman here in Connecticut caught over 100 beaver last year between Connecticut and New York, or excuse me, the year before, and he told me he switched over to all Sleepy Creek, number four, two coil. He had no problem with 50, 60, 70 pound beaver in back foot catches. Granted, it may not have the jaw spread as a couple other traps on the market, but if that even gets half a back foot, he ain't going nowhere, okay? And we're limited to certain, you know, seven and a quarter, I think it is, at a beaver dam. So we're gonna give this Sleepy Creek, number four, two coil, base plated, D-ring, with a drowner. 
Uh, you can pick these traps up at wildlifesupplystore.com. We sell them on there, along with other trapping, hunting, and fishing supplies. Uh, but what we're going to do is, we're going to put it on a slide wire. Always make sure your drowner goes down the right way. I've done it. Okay? It'll go down, but it won't come up. You put it the wrong way, that beaver's going to be sitting here. So, make sure your drowner goes the right way. Make sure the trap don't slide out in the deep water. You're going to be pulling that weight up. Pull your line taut. Wrap it around. Wrap your wire. I know some guys use cable or thicker wire. I've never had a problem with the 14 gauge. You hold those, please. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> ah, I hit a stick. That ain't going nowhere. Sometimes you gotta, you're not on target with the chain, but I see on this one I am. I'm gonna set this. Let's see if I can set it on it. Here's where chest waders come into play, because now I gotta kneel. Woohoo! Right there. <clears throat> Gonna throw that beaver a curveball. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a couple here. And I'm gonna take one of these, right? Checking to make sure my waiter ain't leaking. <laughs> I'm gonna put these out in front. And I'm gonna stick them. in the ground a little bit. In front of the trap. Because what's gonna happen is, they're just pressed in a little. There we go, that's set, ready to go. What's gonna happen is, who that water's cold. Mm -hmm. With those sticks sticking up a little bit, they're not in there, they're not tampering the wire. The beaver's gonna swim this way. Beavers swim with their front feet like this. When his chest hits those sticks, he's gonna think he's gonna hit the, that it's the bottom. Boom, he's gonna put his foot down. Mm -hmm. Pretty slick, huh? Works, but uh, that's all we got right there. Maybe we might want to narrow it a little. If we can. We don't want too much. Make them think I pulled the trap out of here. Okay. Ah, had to mess with it, didn't you, Don? Right there in the middle. Okay. Um, Again, you can see the sticks that are pointed towards him. That beaver's gonna swim this way with his front feet tucked. He's gonna hit those sticks and think he hit the bottom. He's gonna put his feet down instead of sliding right over. Cause he may have to crawl himself right over. So there we go, right down the drowner. This set will also take an otter too. It's in about four inches of water. So we're good with that. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll see how we make out in the morning. I got a 220 with me. Um, there's the crossover. I got uh, a lot of critters in. Kind of deep there, right in that one spot. But if I go down here over to where it's shallow, I'm going to make a bottom edge set because I think those critters are going down, up over, 
and right along there and then hitting the water. I want to put a bottom edge set right there with the 220. All right, well, thank you for tuning in to Trapper Don CT Outdoor Show. We only got one muskrat today on the line, but we had fun. We got our exercise. We're going to get an otter in that crossover there one day. So we'll let you know how we make out. Thanks for tuning in. Trapper Don CT Outdoor Show. Bye now.